hello honeys my name is Kevin. thank you so much for clicking so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made my bantu knots to start i'm going to first uh, part my hair into two sections the front and the back so i use the scrunchie to secure the back hair and then i went ahead and parted the front part into two sections as well just like what i am doing right and now by the way if you have not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for do what the lord wants you to do hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that every time i post a video you're going to get a notification you know like how cool is that so i have parted the front part into two sections as you can see and i'm just uh, making sure the lines are straight you know you have to make sure the lines are as straight as you can make them you know and if you have two mirrors you can put one mirror behind and one in front i don't have a mirror guys so the back lines are not doing so well <laughs> but um i would suggest if you have two mirrors you use two mirrors and then you're going to get the perfect lines so i went ahead and um made a triangle shape at the center of my front part if that makes sense just watch guys sometimes english is just so difficult mm -hmm. so yeah i made a triangle shape in front and that was like my um almost like my uh my my, my template does that even make sense like that is what i was following because i knew if i made the center then i'm going to make equal uh parts on both sides you know i hope that makes sense anyway just, guys just watch and see what i'm doing because i think it will make more sense anyway i'm going to stop rambling uh yeah just watch and see what i am uh, doing So when you're happy with the lines you go ahead and braid your hair now when braiding your hair make sure the braid is not too tight because remember we're going to be crocheting this this is a crochet method so you don't want to tug on your hair so much so i made sure my uh, braids were not tight and i was going to be able to crochet easily when it was time to crochet So this is what the hair looked like once i was done so i made five parts in the front four parts in the second part three in the th third and two in the last part so i had a total of about 14 parts in my hair uh yeah you can make them uh, as many as you want if you want them bigger you can make them bigger if you want them smaller you can also make them smaller so i used two packs of darling hair for this hairstyle i just made sure i fluffed the end as you had seen earlier i fluffed the ends and combed it out nicely so that i was going to be able to braid it uh till the end if that makes sense you know because you don't want it to be so blunt at the end then it's going to unravel but if you have fluffy ends it is easy to make the braid and also to anyway you're going to see what i mean just watch <laughs> So this is the crochet i have i think i have shown you how to crochet in other videos but uh crocheting is very easy uh as you can see then once you're done you just braid the hair with your natural hair i hope that makes sense but you braid it together with your natural hair making sure you're blending it as much as possible you know 
So when you're braiding the hair, make sure you braid until you pass your real hair because that's the only way you're going to blend the hair with the braiding hair, you know. So once you um, have reached the part where your real hair is, you separate your braiding hair into two parts and then you start twisting until you reach the end of the hair like that and then you just twist it is this does that make sense like you just do what i'm doing right now you i don't know what this is called but i'm sure you can see what i'm doing and you do that until the last part of your braiding hair is done like that so i went ahead and did the rest of my hair off camera but i'm going to show you what i was doing one last time so that is the braiding hair i crochet it by the way i was separating my hair into two parts so you notice that i was crocheting twice on every part because i didn't want to use a lot of hair at the same time you know i found it easier to do it twice so that is the second half of the hair that i am crocheting as you can see i am just uh, putting in the second part it's easy you just put the hair close the the pin and pull out the hair and then you pull the other half out guys i hope this is making sense you know but just forget what i'm saying just watch and learn <laughs> yeah so once you are done you make that into three parts and then you braid until you pass your real hair So this last part is optional guys i laid my baby hairs if you don't want to do this don't do it but for me i love to lay my edges so you can see i went and um sprayed my baby hairs with got to be glue spread because i wanted them to be laid and this is me yes fire 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 <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for watching my video guys see you in the next video i love you all mwah, mwah, mwah.